to tell a little story briefly to end the evening. I, uh, I strolled out the other day. Well, let's be honest, I was flung out. Uh, my, my girlfriend flung me out and well, there again, she's, she's not mine. I mean, obviously, I don't own her. Uh, the, the autonomous individual I shack up with flung me out, and um, <laughs> she thinks I'm a lousy comic and a lousy lover, and you know, that night she didn't know which I'd been doing, you know. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> I don't know what you worried about, you know, if I was a panda, we could both be world famous for what I just didn't do, you know. <laughs> she wasn't having any of that, so I left. And uh, it's a funny thing about smoking, actually. A mate of mine, he's addicted to nicotine and also he's unemployed. Uh, two aren't compatible, are they? I mean, one pound ten a packer, you can't do both, can you? Well, he thought he killed two birds with one stone, got himself a job as a dog in an animal testing laboratory. <laughs> All the facts he wanted, marvellous. But it wasn't so much fun when he bolted the electrode to his scalp and injected his goodies full of cancer, you know. But apart from that, it was brilliant, you know. <laughs> Some of my work, they forgot we were on telly, love it again. <laughs> you should have heard what I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, you know, we're back on the tube, as you are, you know. Well, obviously not on the tube, you know, Channel 4. I mean, we weren't cool enough for that, you know. But we're on the London Underground. And, uh, <laughs> I saw it, my paranoia. Always happens. The unattended plastic bag. I hate it. I thought I'd do my duty. I said, that. <clears throat> Excuse me, but is that anybody's bag? <laughs> Russell, 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 up come the standards. Russell, Russell, that Russell translates as, don't embarrass us, you rat mate, don't embarrass us. <laughs> I said, look, I know it's embarrassing, you know, the tube had stopped in a tunnel just at the wrong time. So, you know, it's embarrassing, but it could be a bomb. Could be a bomb. Is it anybody's bag? Everybody glued to the adverts opposite, reading them, you know, Club 18 to 30 holidays, all that, you know. Of course, you know they're referring to the IQ there. <laughs> hey, you've got an IQ over 30, you know, we're well enough to pull that line, I mean, I mean, if you go on this holiday, you might just get laid. <laughs> it's not going to happen, is it? I know, I'm in last year, sweet FA. You know. <laughs> anyway, so I tried one more time, you know, I thought I'd give it I said, look, I know it's a bad, but it could be a bomb. Is it anybody's bad? But no, the answers, because the strange thing about the English is they'd rather be blown to smithereens than have anyone notice them, you know. So, <laughs> we're sitting to the next station, and Wally gets up and gets out and does his duty show. So I've stopped the drag, I've got something to say, as you're meant to do, and I run up and all the people are going, what is holding us up, mate, and shaking their standards, and I get the end, I says to the bloke, look, mate, I'm sorry, I've embarrassed everybody, but there is a plastic bag there, and it's probably just some old lady's home or something, but, you know, it's, it's a nun, it's a bomb. I said, what? It's, it's a bomb, we've we got them on all the carriages, on all the trains, you know. So what's all that about? He said, well, actually, it's part of the government's new anti-terrorist IRA offensive, you see. It's based on the same principle as the nuclear peace through strength. So the idea is if we put our bombs on all the tubes, we're totally safe from all of theirs. <laughs>